Agnieszka, a managing editor at Notes from Poland, an independent news outlet published in English. Previously, I worked for the Polish mainstream media. I've been covering women's rights issues like abortion tourism and feminist activism around the world. I've always wanted to become a journalist to cover stories that matter. I'm Kinga. I was born in former Czechoslovakia. I grew up living around the world. I've lived and studied in the UK and the US, and I'm a freelance multimedia journalist. To me, journalism is a very exciting profession because you get to tell pressing stories that would otherwise remain untold. That's why we want to bring you a story about the COVID-19 pandemic's effects on policy and domestic abuse in Hungary and Poland. These conservative countries have seen an uptick in domestic violence against women because of policy changes that occurred during the lockdown. Poland saw a 50% rise in calls to its national helpline as the number of women facing abuse has spiked. It didn't help that the government repeatedly threatened to withdraw from the Istanbul Convention. Developments are very concerning for the women in Poland. The Convention on Violence Against, Against Women is one of the most comprehensive laws. Poland is starting to withdraw from the Istanbul Convention. The Istanbul Convention is an international gold standard that outlines protections for women facing domestic abuse. There are over 45 countries, including most of the EU, that signed the treaty and 34 that ratified it. Hungary chose not to ratify it, saying that the treaty was a vehicle for George Soros and Western liberal powers. Moreover, Poland Hungary's right wing governments have cut funding for NGOs supporting women's rights initiatives, which means taking away legal and psychological support for numerous victims of domestic abuse. These governments have been set on dismantling independent free media as well. This is why it's vital to secure reader-based financing for stories like ours. That's why we ask for your donations. We hope we can draw attention to the importance of addressing violence against women and tell the stories of those who would otherwise remain silent. Please donate, Please donate and, and follow us at, at press press Thank, Thank you. you. Every donation counts.